This is Michael Saltzman and I'm going to present the new buckle byte registration functionality that we have in the software. We're currently using version 437 of the software. If you're using an older version, please update so that you could use the latest version of the software. I'm going to just take my upper and lower models and drag them and drop them into the software and we could clearly see that the models are not in occlusion. What is important for us before we get started is we want to make sure that the models are generally oriented to follow the positioning of the head and the bottom left. We could do this easily in our model manipulation panel. If it's not open, just go to the panel drop down and click model manipulation and select one of the models, adjust model position manually and here you could grab and drag and rotate either of the models and we're not looking for exact position we're just looking to have the models generally in the same orientation as the head in the bottom left once we have that we could go to our buckle byte registration panel make sure we have the proper model selected for the maxilla and the mandible if not just click it from the drop down list and let's go ahead and add a buckle byte click the import button and here we can see our buckle byte and we're going to click OK select the buckle byte type so this is for normal but if it wasn't we could select the relevant option from the drop down list and we're going to click OK we have this checkbox here for dual buckle byte scan and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. For now let's click OK. And the software's registered our models. If we switch over to the surfaces panel just to understand, we can see our different surfaces here. We have each model now in occlusion and we have our buckle byte. Okay, let's go back to our buckle byte registration. Now what we could do is we could add additional buckle bytes to display the jaws in different positions. So let's go ahead and click import and let's take another byte and click the OK button software registers our new buckle byte and aligns the models to this byte and let's do it one more time And now we've imported three buckle bytes and we could see the jaws in any of those position. So we could just select the relevant position, click move mandible to position, and we saw how the, the lower jaw moves accordingly. We're also able to animate the movement. So if we want to see the actual movement and not just have it jump, we could click the animate button. Again, let's watch it animate. And we have the slider where we could control the animation speed. So if we want to slow down the speed, just lower the slider. Up, oh, wrong button. There we go, and we could see it move. We also have the option to turn on collisions. So we could activate collisions. And we could animate the movement with the collisions on. So we could see exactly where the teeth would collide with each other. Let's take a look at it one more time. We'll speed up the animation speed. Now what we could also do is place 
an articulator on the lower model. We're going to place the articulator by clicking once between the two front teeth. And here we have our articulator placed by the software. We can now open and close the jaw. And we can also control the open and closing movement of the jaw. If we want to defer back to one of our previous positions, just click on the position and click move or animate to move the lower jaw back into position. We also have the ability to edit any of the articulation parameters just by clicking the checkbox for edit. And here we could go ahead and move the sliders to change the different parameters for the articulator. I'm going to go ahead and close out this case and just show one more case. Select the models. We could also import them by going to File, Import STL Models, and Multi Selecting. Again, here we want to rotate the models to match the general orientation of the head in the bottom left. Since the models were in a good relationship to each other prior to import, I could rotate one model and then from the model manipulation panel, select the opposing arch, click align to model, select the relevant model we want to align to. I don't check align using points, but I click the OK button. And here now we have the models matching the orientation of the head in the bottom left. So these are articulated already. So let's mess that up a bit. Let's move the bottom jaw. Okay, so we've messed up the articulation. Let's go back to our buckle bite registration panel. Make sure the model matches the maxilla and the mandible checkboxes and let's click add buckle bite. Click import. And here we have a bite scan on the right side and the left side. So let's demonstrate that functionality. Let's go ahead and click on one of them. And we're going to check the checkbox for dual buckle bite scan left and right. Another import and drop down menu opens. Click import. Select the second one. and we're going to press the OK button. We see the software has articulated two models. Now we can continue as we presented before. We could add an articulator. We could import additional positions. But I wanted to just demonstrate, number one, how we could rotate one model and then rotate the second model automatically by using the Line to Model button and also how we could go ahead and import the two different byte registrations, one on the left side and one on the right side in order to articulate the models. So I hope this was helpful. And again, you could access the buckle byte registration panel from the panel dropdown. And we also have a button for it in the ortho module in case you want to use the functionality there as well.